Hello, and welcome to Budgeting with Intention. This channel is all about us learning how to budget as a family of three. We're learning how to be more intentional with our money and save our money and pay down debt so that we can start planning ahead for our future. If this sounds like something that you'd like to follow along with us on our journey, please feel free to like and comment and subscribe. And of course, if you have a channel here on YouTube, let me know what it is in the comments and I'll be sure to pop over and support you as well. Okay, so we are into May now. We're on week two of our May budget and I'm really liking this um, weekly budget. Just a second, I have to, there we go. I'm really enjoying the weekly budget just because um, it kind of forces me to check in more often and make sure that we're staying on track. It's providing me a little bit more accountability than with just checking in every other week. So yeah, we will probably continue on for, I don't know, the foreseeable future um, until we find something that works better for us. But for now, this seems to be do going well. So first thing I'm going to do is just match up my colors to the week on the calendar i don't know about you guys but my brain just seems to like things to be visual um, and having the colors here and here match up just makes sense to me so that's what i'm doing and it also looks pretty so <laughs> there's that too so this is may 12th to May 18th and for income just trying to make sure that you guys can see the whole page here income we have the rollover from last week and that was 691 we did not have any other income come in this week so that is what we have to work with and then bills we have internet insurance and oil Insurance and oil internet is already paid because we did that last time and then insurance includes our life insurance our car insurance and also our tenant insurance and all together that's 240 each month um, and then oil is just let me check 368 I'm just gonna round that up to 370 so we've got 370, 240 plus 370. So we're already at 610, um, which is fine. We expected it to be, you know, pretty close to what our income was this week anyway for bills. And I think that leaves us with about $80 left. Let's see, 691. Minus 610, that's 81. And don't have any investments this week, so that's easy. Spending, um, the three we normally do are gas, groceries, and pocket money. Um, and we'll have to figure out how to get all of those out of this $81 gas we still have that $20 from last week in our bank account so we normally spend $40 a week on gas give or take so if we already have 20 in the account we only need to put 20 more in and that leaves us with 61 and then groceries I have $24 left from last week's groceries um, and I'm just trying to think, I'll probably spend around $60 this week. So if I already have 24, did I say 24, 36 dollars, I'm going to give myself $40 for groceries and then plus the leftover that will be over 60. That should be fine. So what are we at now? 61 minus 20 minus 40. There you go. So that is $1 left. Um, yeah, I don't need 
any pocket money because I have money left from last week and so does my partner. So we're good there. And then with this one dollar, we'll just use that as a rollover um, for next week. Or, you know, if something here ends up being a little bit more than we anticipated, that will cover that as well. Um, and that should leave us with, let me just finish doing this math here. I think I did something wrong, guys. Let me just check here. I think we've got an extra $20 to play with. So 691, take away 610 is 81, take away 60. Yeah, we have $21 to play with. Okay, this is fun. So let's put that in a sinking fund. Um, let's do, oh, you know, you know what? This sheet doesn't have debt repayment on it. I think I would rather put it into debt repayment than a sinking fund. So let's just put it. We'll do $20 onto, we'll do it onto the line of credit. So actually that makes me feel better. Um, yeah, that actually feels really good. So that's the $1. And then we've got the $1 here and that should add up to everything. So let's just double check, <laughs> let's just double check everything here. So 691 minus our insurance minus our oil is $81 and then minus gas and minus groceries that's did I plus those oh my gosh let's go back to the 81 minus 20 minus 40 $21 and then if we pay 20 of it into our line of credit we're left over with a rollover of one dollar which leaves us with zero base budget okay <laughs> took me a minute but i got there so um yeah i guess that's it for this week's budget our numbers are small and uh <laughs> they probably will be this way for a while um we're not bringing in very much right now we never did we were never um we don't live in an area that actually has that high of a um, minimum wage. Our jobs are both above minimum wage, but once you take off union dues and our benefits package and my um, the company I work for has like a retirement package. So once you take off all those things, our take home pay is actually pretty small. Um, and <laughs> I'm still not back up to full time hours since the whole lockdowns happened in March of 2020. I don't know if I'll ever get back up to full-time hours, to be honest. So um, yeah, we're just doing what we're doing and getting through as best we can. And hopefully we'll see some of this income money increase, <sighs> hopefully soon. I did sign up for some freelance agencies, uh, some locally and also some online. Um, that hire for can Canadians and yeah we're just going through the house and finding things to sell on Facebook so I mean we're we are doing little things here and there to increase the income but it's not sustainable I don't think it would be nice to find something a little bit more sustainable that can help us actually <laughs> start reversing this debt hole that we're in so yeah, I mean, stay tuned to the channel. Who knows what's going to happen? Hopefully, things will turn around soon. I suspect it won't be until the fall that we really start to see a change in our finances. But um, for now, we're just plugging along and doing the best with what we have. I really appreciate this budgeting community on YouTube. It was, <laughs> I just kind of stumbled into it unexpectedly, looking for a way to save money on groceries and I found this beautiful supportive budgeting community and just wanted to be a part of it so thank you for those of you who have liked my videos who have left comments who have subscribed um, thank you very much I so appreciate it thank you for everyone who's posted videos 
Um, if you have a channel, please link it below or tell me what it is in the comments and I will definitely go check it out and comment and like and subscribe to your channel as well. Um, yeah, let's support each other. That's what, that's what we're here for, right? Okay, I think that is it for today. Thank you again for tuning in and following along. Um, I hope you have a wonderful day and we'll see you next time. Bye.